the ball is struck and Rovers collects it through Schneider George King with the first carry and the first tackle is 15 out from the Robins line looks as though he may have just taken a slight knock there as Milnes takes them on finds Kenny Dowell Kenny Dowell out the back door Milnes collects again Westerman wraps him up and it's play on Jess Litton has picked the ball up superbly is kicked out wide Ryan to Opercheck. Castleford have knocked on that should be play on to Schneider and Rovers have a chance in the corner and they've taken it it was scrappy but they all count Rovers open the scoring 4-0 Castleford will be disappointed in the manner that was conceded but Rovers kept it alive it was a good kick out wide from Jez Litton and they had enough numbers there to make Castleford pay two men beat him just to the right hand side of the Castleford upright King off the short pass King's driving for the line. Castleford keep him out by about two metres. That's tackle five, says Chris Kendall. Litton. Oh, brilliant, Des Litton. Reese Kennedy is the scorer. Castleford's defence went wide open, but Jez Litton picked the pass. And the big prop forward, Reese Kennedy, finishes off. Rovers have their second try and lead by eight points to nil. James Bachelors, okay to continue, great to see. Milnes draws in and then lets Mikey Lewis run. Oh, great offload from Kenny Dowell. Mikey's got support. Kane Lynette going in for number three. Great play from the skipper, great support from Magic Mikey. And the big red machine has gone in. Rovers lead 14 0. And Castleford at this point in the game are struggling to contain the attack of Hull Kingston Rovers. Johnson to Westerman. Westerman moves it to Miller. Miller invites a run. There's a gap. Oh, good offload. And Will Tate scores against his former club. Castleford have their first try of the game just under 12 minutes of the first half remaining and well they kept the ball alive well did the Tigers in fairness and Will Tate finishes off 16-4 the conversion to come through the hands it goes they've, oh they've gone through Jack Broadbent has gone in and from Rovers perhaps should have been going to 20 points to four when Ethan Ryan was pulled back inside their own half. Good scoop from Parcel. Parcel has got men on support. Delays the pass. Minchella is accelerating towards the line. That's the start the Robins wanted to the second half. Matty Parcell explodes at the centre of the field. Elliot Menchella supports and has the pace to finish. We've just hit two minutes of the second half played and Rovers have the first try of the second half. Finished by Minchella and it's 2010 to Hulkingston Rovers. And he goes. Rovers look as though they're just cooking something up here. Good offload. Bachelor taking them on up the middle. Bachelor strength. Oh, James Bachelor was not to be denied. You sense the try was coming. It was pretty basic, but James Bachelor reaches over and scores. And the Robins extend the lead to 26-10. 
after the first 15 minutes of the second half from Rovers with two scores. This man's making a big difference. Matty Parcel has got Minchella going into space. Minchella's taking them on. Minchella still goes. He goes into the 10. Lewis is in support, wanting a quick play the ball. That's got to be a penalty. Anderson been in. Elliot Wallace is spending the next 10 minutes on the sideline and Rovers, for me, if they take the two, it will be enough to win the game. I think this is a simple decision. Castleford would need four scores. But against 12 men and Rovers being confident, no, the tea's coming out. No problems for Owen Milnes. Needs a half back to Kate take control. Milnes is screaming for the ball. King the run around with Parcel. Comes back to Rowan Milnes. The stab through wasn't the best. Castleford though have lost it. And now they push it dead and it's a repeat set to the Robins. So Rovers are stacked up on this left hand side. But they've come to the right. Schneider floats one. Oh, it's a great pass. He tried one last week to Ethan Ryan, which didn't come off. That one was perfection. Ethan Ryan scores 34-10. It's party time in East Hull once again. Kenny Edwards. Good ball. Oh, Eden's a finisher. Yeah, he'll go in. Maybe consolation for the Tigers. That one is eight and a half minutes remaining, but the ball fired wide and Greg Eden doesn't often miss those chances. 34-14 with the conversion to come. Johnson to Watts, who returns the pass to Johnson. There's a big gap. That's gone forward, has it? They've lost it. They've lost it. The East Stand enjoying that.